Well, I've, I've taught master's students both ways. I've taught master's students who have no experience. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, at the University of Florida, our residential program, which is during the year, is pretty much uh, students who have just graduated uh, because it's expensive to come into a residential program for a, uh, an experienced teacher who's making uh, a certain living and perhaps has family and to just drop out and, uh, and uh, drop out of the economy for two years uh, is a difficult thing. So uh, I think the summer opportunities for a, getting a master's during the summer uh, are perfect because uh, they can have the opportunity to work with master teachers maybe even in a short term sense, a week, two weeks, three weeks. Um, and and instead of sitting in the classroom for 15 weeks in a regular program. And so, you know, what I find is there's three ways to go about it. And one is the residential program, which I actually encourage my undergraduates to do if they want to and if they want to stay on mother and dad's payroll, uh, because in our program they can actually do it in a year or a year and a half. Um, but it's not near as valuable as it would be if they had teaching experience and can reflect on those experiences. Because what I do in both our master's program, uh, and we had a summer master's program, we no longer have a summer master's program at the University of Florida, but in all of my graduate courses, master's and doctorate, I reflect, I, I have it always go back to teaching. Okay, so you're in a psychology and music course and you're learning about aesthetics and you're learning about, how does that go back to what you do in the classroom. And if you can't go back to what you did in the classroom, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's still theoretical, not practical. And uh, uh, in my courses here um, at Vandercook, which I think this is the fourth one I've done, um, we often reflect on what didn't you learn in college? And, and in some ways, what couldn't you learn in college? Because you can only learn it hands-on. So now, you can go back and talk about classroom management. You can go back and talk about rehearsal techniques, and they have something to reflect on, rather than being an undergraduate or someone with no teaching experience. So, you know, that's the value. And now there's also value in that, you know, you get a salary bump, let's face it. You know, economically, I talked to one of my students yesterday who, who will get a $15,000 raise as a result of having a master's degree. So in that you have all sorts of choices of a master's degree, why not get one that's practical? And, uh, you know, and, and $15,000 a year, regardless of what you're making over the course of a 20, 30, 20, 25 year career can make a real difference in your economic situation.